This is my brother Daniel, and that is his crazy, insanely built FGU. Cue the intro. Alright guys, if you're new here, my name is Gion. This is my brother Daniel. Yo. And like I said, that is his car. Today we're gonna be reviewing, reacting, and really just giving you guys an update about it. I get a lot of requests because we had a build series on this car. You guys can go to my YouTube channel and check out all those videos. Without further ado, man, what do we got here? What, what car is this? For the people that uh, don't know. This is just my XSX Turbo U. It was stock. We had it really stock from the start of the channel. There's a video of us picking it up. Literally pretty much done, pretty much me. Gion's done 85% of it with my dad. Me just, Shoot the money, man. Hey, take the money. Take the, take the money. Hey, don't look at me. <laughs> Dude, this thing's, it's fresh. It's pretty much a mirror of Gion's build, just Haltech cams, but we have room to go bigger and bigger and bigger because we've overbuilt little, little bits that's over your car. Yeah. Obviously, it's not to compete. Just have learned from his mistakes. He's just better than me. I'm, lot, I'm a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> his car is the upgrade from my car. We've done extra things on his car that we should have done, could have done, but we wanted to do it with his. I've still got a lot of cosmetics to do. A lot of work a to do still. To do. This is not even halfway done. Yes, so basically this is just an update video of his car and it's gonna be a little bit of a review. So yep. it's something special for us and for my OG viewers from watching me two years ago, dreaming about picking up cars like this and finally having them built. So I think it's time to go for a spin. Real quick. If it wasn't for this guy, bro, this car would not be done. So, no. <laughs> Week night, dude. Look at this thing. It blows my blows my mind every time. We're just gonna go for a little drive. Oh, wait. Oh. Yo, you good? What's up, man? What's up? This, this is my car. It's your car. Yeah, man. I'm. I'm a, uh. That's crazy. Yo, dude. Hey. Yo. Hey, yo. Alright guys, we're literally here. We jacked Daniel's car. It's me and Jacob. If you guys seen him in the Euro Owner Reacts video, go watch that right now. So we're gonna go react. Me and Jacob, me driving Daniel's car. I've never driven it before, so <laughs> we're gonna see how this goes right now. But, bro, you keen? Bro. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy, man. <laughs> Wait, is that my car? Wait, that's your car! Wait. Where's it Wait. going? Wait. Where's it going? Wait. <laughs> Let's go. I didn't, even, I didn't even fall, bro. This is six foot <laughs> twenty guy. It's too, it's too big. We're gonna like a third year roller. Shaking from driving this, bro. <laughs> this car is nuts. Bro, that says a lot, bro. We need some crazy shit in the cars. Oh this, this thing's making me spaz out. It being a U2, it just performs different, bro. Cars, what on earth? Kick out, bro. I was barely even on it. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> oh. 
I'm shaking. This guy's too scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days, bro. This thing is. I hate this car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he can have this car back, but I don't want to ever drive this again. <laughs> Straight up. This is such a G up, bro. Oh I can't tell if it's frying or not. It's so weird, bro. Right? It's not the same as my car. It's With my car, I can just. And just bah, 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 and I, I can feel everything. But this, you don't. It's so weird. Holy shit, bro. Driving that thing is <laughs> something else, bro. Oh, uh, I've got nothing to say. It's it's built ZF, Haltech. I don't even know how much power it makes because we haven't even dynoed it yet. But bro, this thing is off its nut. If you guys want to see this car get dynoed, uh, tuned by Barry Potter himself from Sirius Engineering, bro, you let us know in the comments below. We're gonna make that happen. We're gonna fly him up. We're gonna fly this car down. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna make it happen. But I think it's time for him to take me for a spin. That's the first time I've driven it, and I've never been passenger in it, so I'm pretty keen. But man, crazy. I must say, I'm a little bit nervous to get in this car. I don't know why, because I just, I think because Daniel's crazy, but mainly because this car is just off its head, bro. But here's my reaction to Daniel's FG 2008, whatever color it is, how tech, all that. Let's go. Oh, bro. Oh. It's locked up coming, eh? Yeah, I'm scared of this car still. I'm, I'm scared still of not used to it. Oh, look at that. Oh, that bro. Let's get go, it. Let's go get the video just will never do it justice you really have to experience something like this for yourself this car is like insane it's crazy it's too much for me i don't want nothing to do with it i know people look at your car and they hear it it's insane it's crazy but then they question you why do you get a small frame turbo why aren't you why don't you want a thousand horsepower why'd you say is it if a lot of talk in the scene car scene like autos are this autos are that why don't you go big turbo it's way cooler how would you explain to the audience for why you went this route with your build when you could have just gone all out yeah <laughs> street car over track car for me personally that's yeah. that plain that's and simple <laughs> uh zf over t400 for me i do a lot of highway driving yeah. like just to get to your house Cruise it's 45 around. minutes yeah and just driving around yeah small frame turbo better for the street for me well, uh for the track 100% I would have got 42. And as way. you say, like, yes, you could have gone either way. For the, like, amount this turbo setup cost for a Garrett Screamer. Yeah. Could have gone a high mount, 
42 Pulsar, like insane. Yeah. But personal preference. Yeah. I prefer a street car. Yeah, for sure. In reality, the main thing is when you're having cars that are pushing, you know, those 1200 horsepower, large frame turbos, you don't really have that drivability that you have with a small frame turbo on the street. And we also got, obviously, a Haltech plug and play in here. I think the story that went about with this was we're booking in a four inch dump valve and the reality is the stock ECU just can't comprehend what it needs to comprehend. It's achievable, but your tune is gonna love you a little bit more to see a little bit, a lot of bit more data. Exactly. Than the stock PCM. Yeah. Like Daniel said earlier, we built this with our dad, top to bottom. We did the head starts, valve springs, timing chain, pump gears, injectors, intercooler, exhaust, tail shaft, fuel diff, pump. fuel pump, trans cooler, literally everything. Everything that's been touched on this car, we did it ourselves. This car was bone stock. As you've seen earlier in the video. Uh, it wasn't bone stock, it had a door stop on it. <laughs> it had a door stop on it, guys. So it wasn't yeah. stock, it was actually pushing a little that's bit more, more boost. boost. More boost. <laughs> Is there another goal? Is there a further goal for this car? Or or is this kind of where you want it to be? Definitely not. I To scale it, I reckon I'm about 40% in. Dyno tuned, yep. side pipe, full respray, new windshield, sunroof. Yep. Clean wheels and just make the car feel like a brand new car yep. that's 14 years old. Yeah. That's my that's... complete goal. Brand new car, just reliable. So... I'll never get rid of this car. Hell yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video featuring Daniel and his FGU and obviously Jacob. As a little extra for you guys, we're gonna hit some sound clips for you guys of the exterior. This thing sounds mental. Leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. It all helps me out. You know how it goes. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, man. Two seconds. Let's go. That's all it takes. <laughs>